Welcome seventh grade. We're doing integer relative value today. So today we talked about negative numbers and how they look on the number line and the fact that this can be a little bit confusing uh, when we add the negative side of the number line to the mix. So I need you guys to pay special attention. Make sure you get all these notes. As always, start with this title between the top two lines in the middle and then the date above the top right. Here we go. The first thing we need to review relative values. So for the notes, these symbols and their names must be memorized. First we have the less than symbol, then the greater than symbol, then the less than or equal to symbol, then the greater than or equal to symbol. Finally, a pretty familiar one is the equal sign. So we read that as is equal to or equals. And then finally, for real finally, uh, we have a new symbol that is is not equal to or does not equal. So sometimes we're writing uh, expressions where like the number of hours of sleep I got last night was not seven. So S, a variable for sleep, would be not equal to seven. Uh, PS, it was like 12. So let's get some more notes. Um, these extra notes are that imagine using each symbol to know its name. So for example, if, you, if you're looking at this symbol and I ask you what's the name of that symbol and you forget, well you just have to imagine using it. So fill in some numbers that make sense. You might know that it always opens up towards the larger number. So you can imagine using it like with seven and three. And then you just read it to yourself to know the name. So that, uh, that little statement right there is seven is greater than three. So now you know this is the is greater than or the greater than symbol. So just use it and then we read from left to right. And as you read it, it will say its own name. Second extra note is numbers to the right on the number line are always greater. Um, so people are used to thinking about uh, the, uh, the inequality or the relative value signs eating the bigger numbers. Um, and so they think of it like an animal, like an alligator um, from Missouri. So we think of gators. So they might do this to show that one is greater than two. But that's always the case no matter where you move this on the number line. It's always going to open up to the right. And this is going to help us when we're thinking about uh, the negative side or the left side of the number line. Is, uh, so in this case, negative 2 is greater than negative 3. And another way to think of that, if you don't want to draw the number line, is to think that the more negative a number uh, is, the less value it has. So negative 3 is less than negative 2. Even though 3 looks bigger than 2, if you're out $3, uh, you're in a worse off or you have less money than if you uh, owe $2. Or if it's negative three degrees, it is less hot than if it was negative two degrees. Let's get into some examples as always. First, we just have negative 15 and negative 21, and we're supposed to uh, use a relative value symbol, and we're wondering which one goes there. So like I just said, we can either draw a number line, and this is one method if you wanted to show work, which I'm going to ask you to do. One way to do it is to draw a number line and include zero usually, but in this case we're to the left of zero. And I know that negative 15 comes first as we count our way negative, and negative 21 would be somewhere over here, with some dashes in between of course. Um, but we know that again, the relative value sign always opens to the right, so negative 15 is greater than negative 21 it's less negative. It's closer to zero. Negative 21 is more negative, so it has less value. A number of different ways to think about it. I might just draw the number line. That's going to be good. Number two, Alexa shot a seven under par for her round of golf. Jordan Spieth shot a three under par. Write a relative value statement to show who took more strokes. So right now, we're using par um, and their number or their score in relation to par. Um, and we're going to try and see which is, which is bigger, which is more strokes. If you have a negative three, three under par, or seven under par. So Alexis is the seven under par. Alexis is negative seven. Jordan is negative three. And we're supposed to write a relative value statement. So we're comparing negative seven and negative three. And if we don't want to draw the number line, we can just say that whichever is more negative has a less value. So negative 7 is more negative. It has less value. So negative 7 is less than negative 3. So Alexis took less shots than Jordan did. And we'll write that sentence. Then I like to end with the sentence. Alexis. Oh, it's asked who took more strokes. So we should actually probably say Jordan took 
more shots. Hope you have all these notes. I hope you took down all the notes that I did for these two examples. Uh, I hope you like these methods of trying to compare values. Uh, remember, it's a little bit different. It's flipped since we're on the negative side of the number line, so it's a little bit more to think about. Just focus and use these strategies, drawing the number line or thinking about more negative, having less value, and you should be good to go. I'm going to leave you with practice problems as always, and I will see you later.